so let's go to the site my that seal that Lee so this is my second logo I designed this in Photoshop too so the size of this logo is 114 by 114 so this logo I'll already upload to this third service so just register to this website and drag your logo in this home so I already drag it so click this so we code the logo via HTML and CSS so we need the direct link of this logo so in this website just go there have an option here so in the in these three dots so view original file so let's copy this direct link of this image and put to notepad we will code this in html and css so let's back to blog and go to template edit html so we will find the header guys in this code so to find the header let's try to debug this header if your browser is chrome so just press f12 to pop up the developers tool f12 in your keyboard so let's find the header guys so click this square arrow and find the header Oop, it responsive so the header is this class name so let's find this copy this copy and back to editor and click inside the editor guys not outside and control f to your keyboard and paste hit enter so as you see we find the header tag so as you see header so we will add a logo here so maybe above of this tag so let's switch back so as you see this class name and this class name are this so let's shrink so this class name site dash branet so we will add a logo after in this class so let's try so copy so we need to code the HTML image source so image src colon colon and paste the link so save and let's see what happened reload so let's close this so as you see guys the logo are in header now but it's not look good so we need to code this in html and css i already created a tutorial for in this case so go to this site and i already wrote the first option the first step adding a widget and the uh, option two let's copy this and replace so I add the div tag and closing div tag so let's remove this so this is the image so I add the home link so this is the ahref home link and this is the image source so it's pretty the same 
So maybe this code is not gonna work for you because it depends of the template. At least you have a reference, guys. So save. So we need to code a CSS. Go to this article. Explain this one by one. So let's try. Let's see. After adding this tag, so as you see the logo, guys, it floated to the left. Not floated actually because there have a div tag here. So let's inspect the element. Control F in your keyboard in Google Chrome. So as you see, this is the my logo and this is the my logo. So we will float it just to the left. So we need add to the CSS in this title and description are floated to the left also after we adding the CSS. So let's go to this reference, copy this, copy. Let's find the CSS section, scroll up. So this is the CSS section guys. You can paste the code here or you can paste via customized template. So I'll do in customized template. So new tab. So customize. So advanced. So as you see, there have a contact form for CSS here. So paste the CSS here. So watch the preview guys. So as you see the logo are floated to the left. So let's undo. Let's paste again. So did you see that? So let's save first. Reload. So there have a logo, the site title and the description are all together. So So this smile logo is represent to this let's find that one. Copy find So this CSS smile logo is represent to this div tag. So this tag is floated to the left. So try right. So as you see, this div tag is floated to the right. So left. And I give it a margin right in 15 pixels. So let's try 30. So it moved to the right, so 15 only. So this div tag around the logo is, I give it a width of 114. So this tag is represent to this site title in description. So I give it margin top. So let's try to remove this. So this title and description are intact to the left because I plotted it to the left. So if you want to learn more in CSS, just go to this tutorial and read it all. So the last section is media screen. So this is for responsive. If this screen size is 960, it will trigger this CSS code. So let's try, let's shrink this screen to 960 pixels. So let's try. So let's shrink to 960 pixels. So this is for 960 pixels, guys. So this code is active now. 
So the logo are floated to none, so it put to center. So let's try to experiment this. Left, so it floated to the left. So set to none if so set to none if the screen is 960 and margin and width. And the last one, this code is side head something or and class side brand something. So, so this code represented is CSS. So float to none and the site title is center. So let's try left. So as you see, so at least you have a reference. Just go to this blog. So I think that's all it. So if you have a question, just fill in the comment box section. And don't forget to subscribe my channel because there are a lot of video tutorials to come. So see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.